What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Oh, whoa. Y'all know why I'm in this kind of mood. Because <laughs> I just look at that verses with Monica and Brandy. And all I've been doing is signing. A, B, C, D, O, E, E, F, G. The boy is mine. He's my, oh, he's my, oh, honey. I could have been great. <laughs> I could have been me versus Tamar next, you know. <laughs> but here I am cooking, being juicy, wearing a tube dress, okay? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Rita, and we are here for another video. If this is your first one, thank you and welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm glad to have you with me. Honey, if you're interested, if you are interested, because, <laughs> you know, as long as you can run, like, oh, boy, my, boy, my. You know, you you think you got it. Oh yeah, I'm still hype. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But what was I saying? Welcome. <laughs> this is a good video, honey. It ain't gonna take me long, baby. This is something quick and easy, and I think you're gonna like it. Coming up next is gonna be the prep. Then you're gonna see me make it. But I'm gonna be making an adult. Grilled cheese, and the reason why I come out say it's an adult grilled cheese because, honey, you got to do a little stuff to it, and you don't want to be making like 16 of them for a bunch of little kids. Not no kids for them to leave half of it on the table and stuff like that. You want to make this for some grown folks that's going to eat it, that's going to appreciate the bacon. They're going to appreciate that you caramelized them onions. They're going to appreciate pre ha <laughs> That you made some spinach and tomato chutney or something like that. I don't know if it's a chutney. Like, I just made it up, child. But y'all going to enjoy it. Y'all going to love it. And uh, stick with me. Let's go. Let's make this grilled cheese. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment. And if you're not already, subscribe, honey. Because I'll be over here. Singing and a cooking and a <laughs> I'm gonna go look at that verse again, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. <clears throat> y'all want me to hear something? Do you? Yes? No? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, you guys, right here, what I have in this pot is two tablespoons of sugar. That's why you see that black down there. I let it get hot, and then I dropped two tablespoons of butter in here, and then my onions. What you're seeing right here is a little bit of balsamic vinegar, also two tablespoons. And you just keep stirring and messing with this until you get these onions nice and caramelized. This is kind of like a quick version of caramelized onions. But you start with a hot, hot, heavy pot. Throw in two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of butter and your onions. You see, they're nice and caramelized right here. Got them like I want them. I'm going to take them out. That's how you do the first part. That's how you get your caramelized onions, baby. Yes. Just going to move them out of my way. Okay, I got my pot all cleaned out. Now I'm going to make my spinach and tomato mixture. So right here, there's another two tablespoons of butter. How I'm going to make this mixture, I'm going to be using some minced garlic, some fresh 
spinach leaves and some cherry tomatoes that I diced, okay? Let my butter melt. Now I'm gonna drop me some minced uh, garlic in there. That's a lot of minced garlic, you guys. Y'all know how I am about garlic. Can't have too much for me. So that's about a fourth of a cup. It might be a whole cup, child. I don't know. Now, this is that entire 10-ounce bag of spinach and about a cup and a half of those cherry tomatoes. And all I'm trying to do is just get it cooked down and get that disrespectful spinach wilted and cooked down. This is going to be in my sandwich and I don't want it wet. So I'm going to cook it. Cook it down. Right here you see I've got it all good and wilted and cooked down and sauteed. We're going to add some salt. And some pepper. Right? That ain't hard. Give it a little stirry poo. Okay. Now... I'm going to drain that mixture, you guys. This is what that is. It's that spinach mixture all drained up, all right? You don't want it wet. You want it more like a spread, okay? So I'm going to take that spinach and tomato mixture, and I'm going to just drop it down into my food processor. Give it a, and, and I'm going to puzzle it a little bit because I want it to turn into like a spread. So that's what you see me doing right here. Now, you don't want to uh, mix it too much, but you want to mix it enough because you want it to kind of be like a spread. So that's why I'm doing this. And you guys, if you don't want to go through this step, of uh, sauteing the spinach and tomatoes feel free to get you some Roma tomatoes or the fresh vine tomatoes and just slice those suckers up and then use the leaves of the spinach you don't have to cook these two items this is just something I wanted to do that I thought would bring a little bit more texture a little bit more pizzazz to my sandwich and that's why come I did it like this and I want it to look just like this a spread and I drained it so it wouldn't be a wet mix. I want it to be like a spread mix, okay? And now, you are almost ready to get started. I'm right here. I'm just draining it one more time. I want it to be as dry as I can get it, okay? So now I think we about ready to build that sandwich. If I can get all this out of here. Ugh. Okay, you guys. So now we have our caramelized onions done. Looking all good and beautiful. We have our mix of uh, spinach and carrots and, um, not carrots, spinach, <laughs> tomatoes, and, uh, garlic, minced garlic, I'll put through the processor. I'm gonna use that as kind of like a little, kind of chutney kind of type. We have our two kinds of cheese. I'm gonna be using, um, cheddar and pepper jack. We have our bread. I'm gonna use this hard, uh, this, uh, farmhouse hearty white bread today that's what i'm gonna use for my grilled cheese this is a grown folks grilled cheese honey child yes then um let me show you what i do on the outside of this bread 
For the outside, I'm gonna be putting me some margarine on the outside, all right? This is the side that's gonna go on the skillet, right? And then I'm gonna be putting me some mayo on the outside, okay? Get you a good hearty bread, a good sourdough bread would be great as well for this. Okay, we're just gonna do both sides, both outsides of our bread with some mayonnaise and some margarine. Do this and I promise you, you will like this little mix for the outside of your bread, okay? So now on both pieces of bread, I'm just gonna put them with the uh, dry side up so I can dress them. I'm gonna put two pieces of cheese on each one, okay? Then you guys, I didn't even show y'all the best part I got. Bacon. Okay, you gotta have some bacon. Okay, so I'm going to be putting my, can y'all, let me see, I'm going to move y'all over just a little bit so y'all can see the sandwich that I'm making. Can y'all see now? Yeah. I'm going to put me some uh, bacon down here. You know what, I think I'm going to put my onions down first. There's no wrong to do it, way to do it. Just make sure you put all of your uh, topping, your toppings, your condiments, your ingredients, your whatever, on the inside of the cheese. Have cheese on the outside layers. Oh, does that make sense? I know it do because y'all are more rich. Okay. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna spread this on this side. Now this is an adult cheese, uh, uh, grilled cheese, y'all. You have to do a little bit of work to get to the final result. So this is for you and your boo. This is for some grown folks. You don't want to fix this for a whole bunch of kids running around because you got to do a little work to get to the oochie goochie gotcha gotcha. But honey, when you get to it, hmm, you to it, okay? Now I'm going to put me plenty of bacon. I'm going to put about four pieces of bacon, y'all. Come on. Come on, somebody. Honey, baby. So good. Okay? And this sucker is ready to be fried. I'm gonna turn this. Be careful now. You got your you got your little see that? You got your onions on there. You got that on there. So I should have put the both of those straight ends on the inside of the plate. Then all I had to do was flip it. But I messed up, believe me. So I'm gonna turn it the best way I can, just like that, so it matches up, okay? Now let me give me a um the trick to your cheese, uh, to your grilled cheese there. I'm going to get me a, like a plate or something or a little skillet or something that I can put on the top of that uh, grilled cheese so that uh, it'll hold it down. So I'm going to turn y'all to the stove. Okay, so y'all, we got our little skillet. This is the skillet that I cooked my bacon in. And I took most of the grease off, but I did leave a little bit in there for, you know, shenanigans and drama, okay? <laughs> so now I'm gonna put my sandwich in there with the buttered side down. Just like that, listen to that. Doom, 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 drama. Okay, I'm gonna put this plate and this on top of here, you guys. You want it to be weighted down, okay? So I'm gonna do. Let me find my good old, good old special. Hold on, y'all. Don't take long. It don't take long. Okay. Couple of minutes on each side, and then that thing gonna be ready. This is my adult grilled cheese. Now imagine this with a side of like tomato soup or a real good hearty chip or like a like a like a what like a sun chip or a uh, a baked kettle chip or something like that. Think about it, sis and bro. Okay, let's look. Child went way over there. Ain't got no. Ooh, 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 shit. Ooh, I mean, shoot, y'all. Jesus, forgive me. 
Y'all know I don't like to cuss. Lord Jesus, my thing came up off my plate. I hope this thing don't show out today because it feel like it's going to try to show out, but I hope it don't. That's because of that stuff on the outside, you guys. Don't get alarmed. Okay? Let me see if it's left. Yeah, it's pretty. So now we just got to turn it without drama, okay? That's the hard part. We're going to wait. We're going to wait on it again. Now, it's not going to get stuck this side because, you know, it's cooked. It's cooked, y'all. It's cooked, y'all. It's cooked. So we got to let it get out good and gooey and get good and pretty. I like it to be real weighted on there. I should have put that plate back on there. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. I've been having a little tickle in my throat. Y'all watching my grilled cheese for me? All right. Okay. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. She's so beautiful. All you want to do is get that cheese pretty and get that skin pretty. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm, mm, mm. You can use any combination of cheese. Look at her. Look at her. Let's cut her open and see how she is. Does she have a beautiful inside? You know, she probably just pretty on the outside, honey. Ain't wear nothing on the inside. Just damage. Just, just heartless. <clears throat> We're about to find out. We about to find out. I wish I should have turned y'all. Well, y'all can see me cutting it. <clears throat> Okay, let me get in a better spot, and then we're going to pray, and we're going to taste it, okay? Okay, y'all, this is my adult grilled cheese. Grilled cheese for grown folks. Isn't she sexy? Isn't she cute, honey? That inside, we got bacon. We got spinach, tomato. We got two different kinds of cheese. We got caramelized onions. Let's pray. Ooh, you just rude. You just gonna bite it without praying. Lord, we thank you for this day, God. Thank you. Thank you for another day to get it right with you, God. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to be here to get it right with you, Lord. Lord, we ask that you would watch uh, over uh, each one of us, our friends, our family. Keep us safe in this pandemic. We thank you that you have done that thus far. Bar God, even with me and my family, and, and we're being affected by God, we all are able to say God brought us through, and everybody is not able to do that. So I thank you personally for that, and any of my friends that's going, and my subscribers, and my lookers, and my watchers that have been affected by this God. I just ask that you will bring them through, God. And if they're asking you for anything, praying and believing you for anything, you say we're two or more are gathered. You are in the midst, and we trust you. And we feel like if we ask you, it is so, God. We thank you in advance for it. And God, now as we eat this food, we thank you for it. Bless the hands that prepared it. Let it be a, a um, nourishment to our body. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And P.S. Lord, uh, if you ain't too busy, let it be good on our lips. Not too bad on our hips. Mmm.
Y'all don't take the fresh one. You know how I'm going to get. I'm going to give you some of this side over It's a little bit crispy. Mm. Okay, let me taste it, y'all. Let's see what we got. Mm. Let's see if you can hear some crunching. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That is delicious. Mm, y'all. I just thank y'all for joining me on another one, honey. This was a quick one. But I had to give y'all something for the weekend. I'm going to be out of town this weekend. But I had to give y'all something for this longest day in the weekend. Something that's not hard. Because you're going to be barbecuing and going on probably. And making big old hard meals. Make you this. A duck grilled cheese. And I know you won't regret it. Sorry about my phone ringing in the background. Uh, you will love it, you guys. It is so delicious. Thank you for joining me on this video. Don't forget to like this video. Comment, share, subscribe. But at the end of the day, I'm your girl. And you know your food ain't not alive until it's been retitized, baby. Make you one. I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Mm -hmm.